Two use cases for AI have recently exploded in popularity. These are AI chatbots and AI voice agents. These AI chatbots enable users to sort of talk to the website through a small bubble widget located somewhere on the website. And then this just assists users in learning more about that particular business, hopefully increasing conversions for that business. Whereas AI phone calls are just phone numbers that users can call and speak with to get assistance or get transferred to an actual human. This can assist users in getting access to information, qualifying leads, booking appointments, etc. And in this video, I will show you how to combine both of these systems into one super powerful website AI agent. This will allow you to speak with the website chatbot in a realistic and quick to respond voice in addition to being able to use text to speak with the agent. Here's exactly what we'll be creating in this video. Hello, this is Mary from Mary's Dental. How can I assist you today? Hey Mary, how's it going? I was looking to see if I could book an appointment today. Hey there, I'm doing great. Thanks for asking. Sure thing, I can help you with that. Can I get your full name, please? To build this, I'll use an AI phone caller platform called vapi.ai, and I'll combine this with an AI agent customization platform called VoiceGlow. VoiceGlow will enable us to deploy our chatbot on a web page and customize it however we want. Vapi is where we will build the AI voice agent, configure its instructions, voice sound, and then connect it to a phone number. My name is Brendan, and I run Inflate AI, where my team and I help businesses integrate the latest AI solutions. Now to get started, I've gone ahead and signed up for a brand new account with Vapi, which you can go ahead and use my link in the description to do the same. So this right here is the vapi.ai platform. If you haven't used it before, I'll quickly cover some of the key aspects of the platform. But if you do want to get a much more deep dive into this platform and what it's capable of, I do have a two hour tutorial covering everything to know about AI voice callers and specifically vapi.ai as well. So go ahead and click the video in the top right corner. So I'll jump straight into building a quick demo assistant. And one really easy way we can do that is just by going to create assistant right here. And we can just use one of vapi's pre-built templates. So this right here is an appointment setter. I'm just going to go ahead and select that and click create assistant. You can also go ahead and just use any of these, but I've just selected the appointment setter. So as soon as I've clicked that, it's gone ahead and given me this assistant right here, which is called Mary. And Mary has already got a prompt set up right here. It's also got all of the settings like the transcription set up. It's got the voice configuration set up. It's also got uh, all of these settings in this configuration. And so I'm just going to go ahead and use this for the purpose of this tutorial. So this template that I just picked out here seems to be for a dental office. Uh, and it's not the most advanced prompt ever. It's just covering some of the key aspects um, for its personality and some of the things that it wants to capture. But that's not the purpose of this video. If you did want to understand how to prompt uh, and build these systems uh, in more detail, obviously I do have other videos you can watch for that. But this is going to be using a basic assistant and deploying this on a website. So you can go ahead and just click talk with Mary or talk with whatever template you chose. Uh, and it will start working right away. Hello, this is Mary from Mary's Dental. How can I assist you today? Hey Mary, I was looking if I could uh, book an appointment today. Hey there, of course, I can help you with that. Can I get your full name, please? So as you can see, it's already up and running, already working. So I recommend if you just want to get this built out really quickly, go ahead, select the template, maybe change some of this up if you'd like, and then we can go ahead and deploy this on the website. I've now jumped over to a platform called voiceglow.org and voiceglow is a platform that is going to be connecting to Vapi to create our website bot that's going to allow us to talk to it via text, talk to it via speech, uh, and have this all in a nice website chatbot that is customized uh, to however we want it to look. So once again, you can go ahead and sign up for a VoiceGlow account using my link in the description. And once you've gone ahead and created your account, you're going to land on a page that looks just like this. I've got quite a few assistants already set up using this, but all you need to do is go over to new agent. Once you've clicked new agent, it's going to give you two different settings for two different agent platforms. We need to select simple VoiceGlow and we can give it a name as Vapi Demo Tutorial and then just hit create. Once you've gone ahead and done that, you're going to land on a page that looks like this. And VoiceGlow gives us a lot of customization when it comes to our chatbots. This is a really advanced platform that gives us a lot of depth into deploying our chatbots and really customizing this thing a lot. I'm not going to do a full dive into every feature on VoiceGlow because this will take quite a while, but I'll just cover the fundamental things for getting this set up on the voice side of things. One thing that you can quickly do is just scroll down and change some of the colors here to match your website. So you can go ahead and click on a custom theme, add in some custom colors, put on dark mode, uh, put on auto palette or whatever, change it to whatever color you like so we can actually have it match our website. You can also go ahead and change the name. You can change the profile picture. You can pretty much change everything that's here. So this can be a fully custom uh, chatbot. You'll have no idea that it's a Vapi assistant um, coming from or voice glow assistant at all. It will, it will be a fully custom platform. Uh, that you can change the colors, the font, uh, everything, the branding, uh, can all be done here on VoiceGlow. So to go ahead and create our voice assistant here on VoiceGlow, we can go ahead and go to this channels uh, button right here. And what you'll immediately see is this voice setup. So powered by Vapi, powerful real-time voice-to-voice, 
connect your agent to a phone number or enable real-time voice-to-voice on web widgets. That's perfect. That's exactly what we're looking for. Uh, and we can do that directly through this. So on this voice part of it down here, you can also connect this to a, a lot of different platforms. So if we want to do this, connect it to WhatsApp, connect it to Discord, uh, we can all do it through here as well. Because VoiceFlow is not just a platform that takes APIs and then puts it on our website like Vapi. This is something that we can actually build an assistant from scratch with. So we can actually go to the prompt yeah, and we can actually just build a prompt. And I believe this is just using the assistance API technology, if you're familiar with that, to just create your own sort of chatbot assistance through here. Uh, but, the, but for the purpose of this video, I'm just going to be connecting the Vapi uh, assistant. So we're just going to go ahead and click connect and it's going to prompt us to add in quite a few credentials here. Uh, and this will directly connect our assistant to our VoiceFlow account. So the first thing that we need to get is the Vapi assistant ID. So this is the particular assistant that's assigned to our Vapi bot that we've created. So if I go back to Vapi, what you'll see here, Mary, uh, just below this, we've actually got an assistant ID and you can just click on the copy button, uh, go back to VoiceFlow or VoiceGlow, paste it in here, um, and then automatically that'll start to connect to that particular assistant. Then what we need to do is obviously authenticate that that is our assistant. And we can do that by connecting Vapi to VoiceGlow by clicking into our credentials. Once you've clicked into your credentials, it's gonna ask for API keys and this will allow VoiceGlow to get access to all of our assistants uh, through our API keys. So to do this, go back to Vapi, go all the way down to your account settings, which is at the bottom left, go up to API keys, and you're gonna get access to all of the values uh, that VoiceGlow is looking for. So on this page here, we've got access to private and public API keys. And all I need to do is just click on the copy buttons right here. So copy ID, my private key, add that into here, go to the public key, copy my public key, and we can put that into the public API key. Once you've gone ahead and added in those two keys, just click on save in the top right, and then it's gonna say that Vapi is now connected to your agency. So that's perfect, we're now authenticated with Vapi, and then all you need to do is make sure your assistant ID is pasted in here with that particular Vapi assistant that you're looking for. Then at the bottom here, we have a button that says enable Vapi on the web, and so that's exactly what we're looking for. So we're just gonna go ahead and click that, and that's what's gonna put our Vapi assistant on our website chatbot. And then we can also add in a Vapi web pop-up message. So that's, I don't think this is uh, needed, but we can just say, hello, how can I help you? And then once again, just making sure to save it every time. And now if we go back to the overview section here on VoiceGlow, what you'll now see that wasn't here before is this sort of phone number icon next to the refresh button here. And this is what it's gonna allow us to directly call our Vapi assistant. So if I just go ahead, click that phone number, there we go, that's our pop-up message that we entered just previously. It says, hello, how can I help you? And then we can just click this button right here and it's gonna start calling Mary from Vapi. Hello, this is Mary from Mary's Dental. How can I assist you today? Hey Mary, how's it going? I was looking to see if I could book an appointment today. Hey there, I'm doing great, thanks for asking. Sure thing, I can help you with that. Can I get your full name, please? Yeah, my name is John Smith. Thanks, John. And what would you be coming in for today? I'm just coming in to get a regular checkup. Got it, John. Regular checkups are important. When were you thinking of coming in? So there we go. That works pretty great. We can directly start talking to it. And you can also see we get a live transcription of exactly what's being said from not only the bot, but myself as well. It's going to be live transcribed. Uh, and so then we can also just go ahead and start talking to it manually over text. So if we wanted to go ahead and end the call, I can now just say I'd like to book in for tomorrow. And then you can see the bot will just continue on like normal. It says here that it doesn't have access to uh, booking appointments. That's because that pretty basic template doesn't have that set up, but that is something that is pretty easy to do as well. So we can just book appointments um, through the bot. And if we had a function set up, it would have just done that. So that is a really cool way that we can integrate not only voice, but text, combine them together and create a really powerful assistant that can sit on websites uh, in a lot of different forms. So now to go ahead and actually deploy this thing on a website, there's a couple of different options that VoiceClow gives us for deploying the system. So if we just go to the top right of our VoiceClow main page here, click on the deploy button. We're gonna see quite a few examples of ways that we can actually go ahead and deploy this code onto a website. One of the first options that it gives us is a chat box, which it says in the brackets, iframe like. So that just means it's not gonna be that sort of bubble in the bottom right corner. This is something that you can put anywhere on the web page. So if you wanna have your chatbot right in the middle of the web page, uh, for whatever reason, you can do that and just have it as sort of like an iframe, put directly in the middle of your website. And then the third option they have is an iframe directly. These are pretty similar. That just depends on uh, what your website accepts, whether it wants this type of code or that type of code. Pretty similar stuff though. The main and most traditional method is the pop-up, which is sort of just that traditional 
bottom right of your website where you've got the little bubble and somebody can click into and then just start to talk to the chatbot. And then at the end here, they have this full HTML example. So if you don't have a website, uh, you can go ahead and just copy this HTML code um, and then just deploy this for testing. So we're not really gonna be needing that because I do have a website that I am gonna demo this on. So now I'm gonna go ahead and test this on my own website. So I've just clicked on the pop-up section here. I'm just gonna go ahead and copy that code. This right here is my Webflow website. I've just gone to a sort of random page on my website. I'm just gonna show you how simple it is to take this chatbot and put it on the website. So if you're using Webflow or using any website provider, uh, it's gonna have pretty similar settings in how you add JavaScript code to the website. In the case of Webflow, what you can do is go over to your page, click on the little settings button. And then if you scroll all the way down, what you'll see is these two bit of code, custom code sections. This one is the inside head tag, and this one is the before body tag. And so all we're gonna do is just copy and paste this directly uh, into the before body tag box right here. Click on save, and that will add our chatbot directly onto this page. So there we go. I've got my chatbot popping up now in the bottom right corner of this web page. I can go ahead and click into this, and this is gonna load that assistant that I was just demoing to you. And then we can just go ahead and click that voice button. And now we should have a direct connection with Vappi through our website chatbot. Hello, this is Mary from Mary's Dental. How can I assist you today? Hey Mary, I was just wondering to see if this uh, chatbot was working, that's all. Haha, <laughs> yep, I'm definitely here and ready to help. Let me know if you have any questions about our dental office. If you want to learn more about building these AI voice agents and not just using these sort of basic templates, you can go ahead and watch my two hour tutorial where I break down everything to do with building AI voice callers by just clicking the video on the right.